Hey peeps, good that you are still here. I know it was a long video break now, but I'm back, at least for this video. Today I take you along on a little trip I had with two of my photography friends. Most of the pictures I share today will be taken on expired DIA film. I tried to color correct it so that it looks okay, but on some pictures it was just too off to save it. Anyways, they look not too bad and I want to present them to you here. My cameras of choice were my Leica M6, the medium format Fuji GS645S and a little point and shoot and the point and shoot I actually bought it on the flea market and I think it costs 2 euro back then. So yeah, most of the pictures were taken with the trash camera and expired DIA film, so don't expect too much please. It's funny to see this footage now because when we recorded it, it was warm and beautiful outside, everything was blooming. And now that I record the voiceover, it's just cold and dark and gray. And it's, it feels like it's the total opposite of that. So it's nice to see these videos again. As a photographer you are most of the time the guy that takes the pictures and no one will take pictures of you so it's always nice when you are out with other photographers to take some pictures of them because they are most of the time very happy about it. And I also try to just document a bit life and what we are doing. I think all pictures you saw so far were taken on the expired DIA film and the pictures that you will see now are taken on Portra 400 and in my opinion you clearly can see the difference. Portra looks just better but they were also taken with the Leica so that's another difference so yeah tell me in the comments what you like more the the artsy damaged expired film or the clean Portra look we liked the first spot a lot but we decided that we want to be there at sunset and before sunset there was a lot of time so we traveled to another little village nearby to see if we can find any compositions or anything that looks nice. And yeah, I was climbing up this little monument and snapped some pictures of my friends. They are all taken with the Sensia 100 expired DIA film again. Yeah, here's my friend Anna's taking a picture of a dog in a car. Can you see it? And now I'm not talking of the picture of the dog, but an actual dog looking out of the window.
I was wearing sunglasses and because of that I was almost missing the moment when the sun was setting because everything was looking yellow all the time already so colors did not change for me Oh, and by the way, if you have Instagram, you can follow me there. I try to upload pictures from time to time and also check the Instagram accounts of my two friends that I was traveling with. I will link them in the video description, of course. I am definitely not the biggest fan of showing the whole process of converting the pictures from analog to digital. But in this case, I felt like it could be interesting for some people to see how the film was looking unedited. It was just yellow and I don't think that I want to shoot it again because the end results are okay now, but it was not too easy to achieve these results. Here are some comparison pictures of 120 film Kodak Gold in the absolutely same lighting conditions. The picture of Anas in the fields is one of my favorite pictures of this day. While the film is respooling, I want to tell you that I just launched my website and I want to invite you to open it and browse a bit. You can find some personal work and some portraits and some other stuff. It's not a website to hire any clients or so, it's indeed just to showcase my work. There's even a little print store where you can get some of my pictures in case you want. As always, in the end of the video, I want to show you my favorite pictures of the day. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any opinions or questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. See you next time. Bye bye.